I'm not gonna and well let me tell you what's gonna happen you're gonna declutter it you're gonna feel guilty that you decluttered it you're gonna go out and buy something new hey there my handsome and pretty little cobras and welcome back to the cobra's nest for those of you who are new my name is Mignon Cobra and I make minimalism videos today's minimalism problem is going to be minimalism is a pendulum so you bought more stuff I'm gonna be giving you guys five tips on how to deal with the aftermath minimalism guilt so without further ado let's get into the video let's get it let's go Woo. number one examine the underlying cause there's nothing wrong with buying new things. There's nothing wrong with buying in general. We're here to address when you might have bought a bit too much and you're feeling a certain kind of way about it. And I'm here to let you know that minimalism is a pendulum and it swings from our maximalist tendencies to our minimalism tendencies and everything in between is perfectly okay. We're just trying to examine what caused you to make the specific purchase and what's causing you to feel a little bit guilty. So if we can learn and understand what's going on in the underlining it'll help prevent make these same mistakes in the future some common causes of maybe buying a bit too much you were indecisive it was an impulse purchase you were bored you were sad you were angry you were happy you were with friends you were alone so figuring out what it is is just more knowledge for you number two forgive yourself i think in this minimalism community it's quite easy to get caught up with the whole hype of buy less declutter more and you might feel like you have failed yourself you have failed this image or standard that you have for yourself and let me tell you as somebody who has carried a lot of guilt with her about whether things that i bought in the past holding on to guilt beyond learning the lesson is extremely unhealthy so i just want to let you know that forgive yourself it's perfectly okay learn from the mistake that's the most important thing if you aren't learning forgiving yourself doesn't help what can you take from the situation to help better your life in the future so that this doesn't happen again number three accept cherish and use the stuff for myself and somewhere in my in middle of my minimalism journey i felt a little bit guilty if i bought something new i felt like i had failed myself and i got into this weird habit of taking it out on the new thing i would destroy the new thing or i would immediately declutter the new thing or i would give it away to somebody and i had thoughts where like i don't deserve to have new things or this new thing is taking away from my minimalism and it was really unhealthy and i don't know if other people are, have done this or are going through this I want you to let you know that you're not alone i have done this as well and if you aren't good for you because it sucked doing that <laughs> i want to enjoy my nice things too accept this new thing that has come into your life cherish it get the most use out of it and try to understand that sometimes shopping does open up our appetite to want to continue to keep buying more but if we just take a step back and we examine and look at the things that we do have we might realize hey you know i have enough number four examine the purchase before for. so i know that right now you've already bought it and there's not much you can do about it but moving forward some purchases are best addressed beforehand so if we can do our research diligently and we can premeditate upon it make a wish list sleep on it for a month or two or in my case seasons or two maybe wait a year or so and see how you feel about it then we know that these larger purchases that might induce a bit of guilt we are better equipped to handle it we're more responsible about making the purchase i think a large expensive purchase there's nothing to feel guilty about it if you already did the preliminary work if you saved up you were intentional about it you did your research you got a good deal you know how long you're going to use it for you know the, the cost per wear ratio of the item at the end of the day all of our material possessions are just tools so you might as well enjoy the purchase and be intentional for the future purchase all right number five don't minimalism guilt declutter i don't know if this is something that other people have gone through or might experience but i figure since it's something that i I went through i thought i might just throw this out there i just invented this term to describe the phenomena that i went through i felt very guilty whenever i bought something new i felt like what am i doing i bought something i hate myself <laughs> I laugh about it now, but if you've experienced this, you know it's not a laughing matter. You feel a lot of guilt, and to absolve yourself of the minimalism guilt, you have to try to figure out a way to get rid of it. And I'm here to tell you that minimalism is not about the number of things that you own. It's about being intentional about the things that you do own. And it's also about being intentional about the things that you do buy, and then the future things that will be coming into your life. Because, again, minimalism is just a pendulum. It swings from both extremes sometimes we have a little more sometimes we have a little less and once we accept that it's always just a constant flux we can find peace with ourselves peace with our minimalism and peace with our stuff so don't minimalism guilt declutter it's not gonna and well let me tell you what's gonna happen you're gonna declutter it you're gonna feel guilty that you decluttered it you're gonna go out and buy something new it was just a disservice to yourself and to the item that you could have just have enjoyed so you bought it enjoy it don't feel guilty but if you are feeling guilty figure out what's going on learn from it and be responsible for the next time and remember at the end of the day it's about intentionality and not about the stuff 
Thank you so much for having taken the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Check out my Instagram for more Mignon Cooper goodness. Subscribe if you want, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.